Next up is level 3, The Crumbling Tower, and one of my favorite songs in the game, Wicked Child. First enemy we need in this level is, besides the ghost, the hunchback. I don't really think you need to uh, kneel down to hit him, but I seem to do that out of habit. These guys in numbers, if you don't take care of them quickly, are a serious pain. And we also encounter the skeleton that throws bones. He only takes one hit. There's also another variety of skeleton, the red skeleton. I didn't throw any projectiles, but he never dies either. All you do when you hit him is he'll fall down. And he'll come back up pretty fast. So all you can basically do is stun him and go by him. This game is a lot of fun, but it's pretty challenging, too. We never actually owned this game. Only the Castlevania we owned, I think, was uh, Castlevania II Simon's Quest. I remember when I got to Dracula in this game, it took me forever to kill him. Before I figured out what I was supposed to do. I mean, you have to hit his head, but how to do it without getting killed. It took me quite a while, many, many continues. We are down to our secret treasure bag here. These birds can be a bit annoying in the way they change direction. Sometimes they'll dive below you. Always good to see that cross destroy everything. One less worry, one less stupid enemy to worry about. This is bone up in an arc. Kind of got his own version of the axe, I guess. Oh, this part's kind of a pain. The Medusa's flying around. And here we have the boss of the level. That block that I'm standing on has a pork chop, by the way, if you need it. Fortunately, the stopwatch doesn't work against these guys. Though I could get the dagger. Yeah, I might as well. We'll just try to whip them like crazy, I guess. Can't do much else. Probably should have went on that block that I was uh, just talking about. Whip, 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 whip. Oh, don't turn around! Damn it. I'm using an, an uh, Xbox 360 controller for Windows. But frankly, the control pad sucks. If I had known that, I wouldn't have bought it. I guess it's okay if you play modern 3D games, but... For games like this, I find it's not exactly... It's a little too loose. Next up is level 4, the Underground Caverns. And the song is Walking on the Edge. All the way down. The main two enemies in this first screen are bats and the fishmen. But the main hazard here is the moving platforms. You can get easily knocked off by the bats if you're not paying attention. ourselves a firebomb, and we're going to try and hold on to it. 
can make mincemeat out of the boss. Turning what would normally be a very annoying battle into one that's just as easy as the Medusa. Alright, now we're above ground. This main screen has birds carrying hunchbacks. So you're going to want to stop and deal with each one. Otherwise, you end up with too many. It's really hard not to take hits. You can get killed very quickly, very easily. Quick stop and go is the perfect method. And the last enemy in this section is a skeleton dragon. I'll just keep whipping him in the head. Takes five or six shots, and he'll drop a bunch of items, including a double. That will be very useful, as always. The second candle here has a dagger, but we do not want that, so we're going to skip and get the rest. We've got two more skeleton dragons to deal with before the boss. And a triple shot. Right, the boss here is a double team of Frankenstein monster and Igor. Frankenstein just walks forward slowly. Igor flies around the room and spits fireballs. He's your real threat. And as you can see, if you just firebomb them like crazy, they will barely even move, much like Medusa. And you can finish them off very quickly and very simply. And that's it for level 4. Next up is the fifth level, the dungeons, and the song is Heart of Fire. 